A manager at Baltimore's Department of Transportation is indicted for bribery. 65-year-old Barry Robinson oversaw the Charm City Circulator and the city's water taxi system, but prosecutors say he took bribes of tens of thousands of dollars in exchange for canceling massive debts owed by city vendors. Mr. Robinson offered that in return for $20,000 payment, he would extinguish a $40,000 debt that was owed to the city. And in fact, Mr. Robinson allegedly had received a check made out to the city in payment of this debt and returned that check and said, instead of paying $40,000 to the city, you can just pay $20,000 to me. Transportation officials say these accusations are extremely disturbing. The objective of the Charm City Circulator. Barry Robinson was front and center for WJC News cameras a few years ago when Baltimore rolled out its new Charm City Circulator bus service. Now the 65 year old is making headlines for allegedly accepting $90,000 in bribes. Robinson oversaw the city's water taxi and circulator bus programs as the chief of the Division of Transit and Marine Services for the city's Department of Transportation. In that role, federal authorities say he had the power to accept payments from companies who had added advertise on the circulator buses. According to this federal indictment, Robinson allegedly told one advertiser if they paid him 20000 in cash, he would, and later did, keep the money and mark it in the city's records that the advertiser had fulfilled its debt obligations to the city. How did authorities learn about Mr. Robinson's actions? Now, we're not commenting uh, on how this information came to the attention of the FBI. But U.S. Attorney that. Rod Rosenstein says in April of this the, year, uh, Robinson went on to accept $70,000 in exchange for selling 13 brand new unused city owned bus shelters like these that were never installed. Robinson told an FBI source the city didn't even know about the shelters and he would use the money to pad his retirement. U.S. Attorney Rosenstein says the case should send a message. Even if uh, you, know, you think you're dealing one on one with a corrupt official, or if you're a government employee and you think that uh, you might be able to take a bribe secretly and have nobody find out about it, we want people to know that we do have ways to uh, get at this kind of information. The city inspector general tells WJZ that they are now fully investigating. They're looking to tighten internal controls and procedures and strengthen the city's asset management system so that something like this never happens again. We're live downtown. Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness News. Derek, thank you. If convicted, Robinson faces the possibility of up to 40 years in prison.